Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Android 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 400. The version that I'm going to be installing in this video is actually an unofficial lineage of Android 11 provided by Constacang. Despite it being an unofficial lineage of Android, you can still download the Google Play Store and access most of its content. And if you want to know how to do just that, simply check out my previous video which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And by the way, if you're enjoying the content that I create on this channel, it would definitely make my day if you left a sub. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to download the ISO file containing the OS itself by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to a website called constacang.com. To download the ISO file, simply scroll down and click on the highlighted link. Then click on download and select primary download. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher. In my case, the Berlin Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting berliner.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, simply open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32 GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. As you can see, the Pi is successfully booted up and you can now begin with a basic setup process like you would with any other Android device. Now Android 11 has just been released about a week ago and supports USB boot as well. If you're interested in seeing a video about USB booting Android 11, let me know in the comment section below. As you can see, Android 11 has been successfully installed on the Raspberry Pi 4 and can now be used. However, the Google Play Store isn't installed yet, so if you want to find out how to do that, go ahead and check out the second part of this video lineup, where I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store step by step, since that alone will be quite a long video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. But apart from that, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.